Hannah back again today with another famous talking video. I'm super excited to be doing this. It's been a while and as you can see by the excitement on my face, I am super excited to be doing this again. I am in a new location. I'll be moving around, finding the best lighting, the best filming situations, but this is where we are today and let's get into it. So, the topic that we are kind of talking about today that I had in my mind is something that I think is going to apply to pretty much anyone in whatever stage they are in life. And this kind of relates to me right now because student, um, in university, a lot of our learning now is taking place on our own time. You know, we're self-directing our learning. It's not all coming from the classroom and our lectures. It's mostly lectures are just kind of a review and refresher of what you should already be knowing if you're reading your textbook and doing all that kind of stuff. Um, so now that a lot of this work that you have to be doing and learning is kind of in your own hands, you need to decide how you're going to use your time to get everything done when you need it to be done. So, you know, you have to go buy your own groceries for the first time and figure out what kind of social life you can have and clubs you want to join and extracurriculars like making YouTube videos and, of course, doing your work. And... With all of that, we have the temptations of social media, um, procrastination, and, you know, all the different pleasures in life that are very easy to kind of get sucked into. And basically what I want to talk about is that allure, the allure of the pleasures in life um, opposed to doing the work and eventually feeling the fulfillment. So, I mean, this has been kind of drilled into us quite a bit. Like, we know that social media and scrolling through our Facebook feeds and Instagram, it's mindless activity. We are technically, we can be seen as wasting our time. Unless, you know, you're a social media analyst and social media is your job, your career. Um, and you're making a brand name for yourself. Social media does have its, um, it has its importance in our lives. But this is something that I found myself doing, um, just with my new schedule. And when we have free time, often, if it's just, you know, there's something that we could be doing, but it's not super important, you often fill it in with, the mindless activities when we could be maybe putting forth some effort into creating something or learning something new or taking a step in the direction of more personal fulfillment. So for example, something that is a bad habit of mine, now you know I'm alone, I'm not living with other people, so at breakfast I sit down and I look through Snapchat, Snapchat stories and I scroll through my Instagram and do all those kinds of things. And it's not necessarily harmful, you know, in a way it's I'm getting to learn about what's going on in the world, but uh, it's also kind of mindless and it's just quick release kind of pleasure. And I do that sometimes before I go to bed and, or I waste time doing those little things when I could be reading a book or going out for a walk or doing something, you know, that benefits me, my body, my mind, my soul, my hand soul, and my quality of life. Um, so yeah, there's all of those things. And we, basically, I guess the key part in all of this is the way we think about the different pleasures in our life. You know, there are constructive pleasures, I guess you could call it, like, um, sitting down and having a really good quality meal and spending time with people that you really enjoy spending time with, going on a walk or, or doing some arts and crafts, I don't know, whatever floats the boat. But then there's also the, again, scrolling, just liking things, watching useless YouTube videos. YouTube can be very good in self-directed education, but again, can also be used for mindless entertainment. And... The thing is, we look at, sometimes in our life, we look at work, and we're like, 
I'm doing all this work, I'm learning, uh, <laughs> like life sucks, I just want to go and have fun and scroll through my Facebook feed. And then we're scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and doing all the mindless activities and we're like, this is what life is all about, I love it, you know, it's just easy, it's pleasurable, great. But <clears throat> when you look at those two activities, one, it's quick release satisfaction, it's addictive, and it's not doing anything really positive with your life, other than maybe adding some more useless information to your brain, which is cluttering, and that's actually not positive. Whereas the other actions, like reading a textbook, <laughs> learning, performing experiments, creating videos and content to put out into the world that further your own um, personal development and can help others, that is, it requires some more effort, but it's constructive not only to yourself, but at the end of it, because of the effort that you had to put into it, it creates a sense of fulfillment. And the mission that you had to kind of um, put forth into doing those activities is purpose. And these are two really critical things in life that create happiness. And we all want to be happy when we're living life. And when we're happy, we're usually not as stressed out. And I think where the stress comes from is feeling like you aren't enjoying what you're doing and you're not creating anything or doing anything with your life. So when you are doing something that you love, maybe it puts, it, you know, it requires some effort, but short term, sometimes you have to forego the short term pleasures for a long-term fulfillment and success. And that's kind of what I want to remind you guys to do, too. Next time you find yourself with a spare hour, you know, in between classes, watch what you your body kind of wants to do. And try and do the opposite. So when you find yourself gravitating towards opening your Facebook feed, opening your Instagram, scrolling, whatever, ask yourself, why am I doing this? Am I doing this to connect with people and do something meaningful? Or am I just doing this because I have extra time and I just want to waste it and do something nice and easy and gratifying? What else could I be doing to use my time better? Try and focus on what, you, what your habits have become or what you're doing, what are your habits, and what you could be doing instead that is more constructive, will de-stress you, and help cultivate purpose and fulfillment in your life. So yeah, that is everything I have to say today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this and subscribe below for more videos like this. Um, there will be definitely more coming out and yeah, comment below what your negative habits are and something that you would enjoy um, that would also create more fulfillment in your life. Thanks. Have a great day and bye. Whenever I come home, like the wind is in Ohio, I've been feeling so cold. But this girl I want so bad is next to me. Because this hair just breath. doesn't want to come up on me. I need you less. Okay. You start to feel my stress as I take another step. 30 seconds. Your body's in my hand, girl. Let's get away. Here we go. It looks like we're going to go first. Okay. Let's go. 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 Let's go.